It's 4th of July weekend. How about some great wines for some great hamburgers? Stay tuned. This week's episode, a happy 4th of July. Well, at our house, we usually have hamburgers on the 4th of July. So I thought, well, how about let's try some wines that would be great with hamburgers, whether you grill them outside or maybe you pan fry them inside like we did. Um, I have got some just two gems for you. Well, let's take a look at the first one. And this one, I... If you've ever looked at a wine label and you thought, well, it's awfully cute or it's pretty and I want to try this one, well, it's okay to do that. You know, if they take this much care on their labels, I bet they take good care of their wine too. It's not just a marketing ploy. Well, this one really got me because it's called Secret Squirrel and it's from Walla Walla, Washington, a great uh, winemaking family. They make two wines, this 100% cab which i thought was really kind of cool and they also make a rhone blend so it means it's going to have some syrah and some probably grenache and some mouvedre uh but it's just look at that that label just sold me and i was like i, I want that wine and i want that wine for my fourth of july hamburger and uh it's it's just it's just a cute label and it's funny it's it's all on this um idea of it's it's you want to squ squirrel away this wine because it's so good you don't want everyone to have it you just want the people who actually appreciate wine to have it which I, I thought was kind of interesting but the label got me we have a lot of squirrels in our backyard and you know welcome to my backyard and it drives my dog crazy he chases squirrels every day most of the day so this one just it really caught my eye and it caught my heart and I, I couldn't wait to try it so it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, and this one, as I said, is a 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. So when you have hamburgers, I'm telling you, just there's about any red wine you can think of is going to go really well with hamburgers. Pinot Noir, a Shiraz from Australia, a Cab from Napa, I, I, seriously, a, a Rhone from uh, France you're going to be just fine. Hamburgers are just one of those great foods that really shine with red wine. Not with like, you know, necessarily a white wine or anything else. It, it needs to be a red wine. And uh, and, and today is, is, is no exception. So I cooked a, a, uh, um, a hamburger that was made mostly of chuck and brisket. And it was just fantastic. And this wine was beautiful with it. Um, just delicious. So this Secret Squirrel, again, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, it's going to remind you of a lot of black currant, uh, black cherry. It has a little bit of that dusty sage. Um, it is uh, maybe a little, uh, some notes of spiciness to it, but it's so soft. Um, the wines in general from Washington State, which I highly recommend, if maybe you're not sold on cabs or someone you know is not sold on cabs because they're too dry and they're too tannic you know what the wines from washington state i i think are a really good bet so i think this one is going to be a, an excellent choice well i've talked about it enough let's go ahead and drink it so you can probably already tell from where you are how dark this wine is and the wines from washington state tend to be just concentrated very um fruit forward you know so i'm gonna taste the fruit and you know what i bet it's not gonna be too tannic and it's not gonna be too dry let's check oh definitely black cherry and some hmm black cherry seems to be the most prominent let's taste hmm Wow, not too tannic, not too dry. I can taste the fresh fruit. Like I was just chewing on some black currant, some black cherry, nice acidity, 
It went so well with the hamburgers. I really want you guys to try to find this if you can. Um, I found this at one of my local uh, wine stores. Um, Total Wine has it. It may be hard to find. So, not to ruin your 4th of July, because that's a very important day. Um, we like to... <laughs> I, this is goofy, but we do like to. Uh, on the 4th, we like to stick to wines that are, you know, from the United States. So our French fries that we had tonight, I didn't call freedom fries. They're, they're French fries. But we, we usually kind of stick to, you know, something very simple and, uh, and something from the U.S. So if you cannot find Secret Squirrel, and this, I swear I love this label. Um, so if you can't find Secret Squirrel, another great great wine that you can find at your grocery store is this Josh Cab. Um, it's just um, supple. Again, nice body. Uh, very approachable. Not too expensive. Um, this wine, the Secret Squirrel, was a little, about $25. The Josh is going to be about $15, maybe a little bit more. Find it at uh, your uh, grocery store. You can find that Total Wine. Easy to find. So, I have two recommendations the Josh and also the J. Laura Cab. Fantastic for grilling, hamburgers, just solid wines, easy to get. I think uh, even people who aren't sure about cabs, they're gonna like both of those. So we have two wines for the 4th of July, Secret Squirrel. <laughs> and again, uh, if maybe cab's not your, you know, your favorite uh, grape, um, Secret Squirrel, they also make another wine, and it's sort of a, um, a, a Rhone varietal blend. So it'll probably have Grenache and Syrah and Mourvedre, um, also from Washington State. Uh, and, you know, so you can check that out if you, maybe you think you like, you know, Syrahs or Shiraz is from Australia. Uh, so there's your Secret Squirrel, your Josh Cabernet Sauvignon, and uh, just enjoy it. Uh, they they just do a really nice job. I was I was I was excited to try this one. Twenty five dollars. You know it's not too expensive. Perfect for I think the holiday. And uh, it was nice to read about them that they're a small family and they take pride in you know getting grapes from their from uh, all of their uh, uh, their vines and and they put it together. And it was kind of interesting um, is they use their natural yeast and they use uh, cement and French oak. Uh, to mature their wines. Kind of nice. So nice, small family, great wine, awesome label. And so sometimes if you see a label and you go, oh, that's just the cutest label I've ever seen. Maybe I'll try that one. Well, you know what? Go ahead. I, I uh, Sometimes the label, sure, it could be a marketing ploy. They make a really nice label and the wine could be horrible, but probably not. If they put that much effort into their label, I bet the wine's pretty good. So for this week's um, 4th of July, I went with Secret Squirrel for my uh, hamburgers with some beautiful Colby Jack cheese and some uh, caramelized onions oh, with a brioche bun. Fantastic. So I wish you all the best on this 4th of July and hope you enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for sharing our channel with your friends and family and coworkers. I just really hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. We have so much to celebrate now that we can be outside and actually be with people. Isn't that wonderful? Much different than last year. Well, thank you again, everyone. And until next week's episode, cheers. Mm -hmm.